All right, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this will be another uh, crash course quick review of this impressive trial. Stay tuned to the end where I explain how it's changing my practice. My name is Mike Freilich. I'm a general internist. I work in Toronto and Sault Ste. Marie. So let's talk about this trial, this onwards one trial. And to think about the study question, we'll use the PICO framework. So the population in this study were adults with type 2 diabetes, A1C from 7% to an 11%. 11% and no previous insulin. The intervention was insulin Icodec, which is once weekly, which is wild. Uh, and the comparator was insulin glargine, which is once daily. The outcome was the absolute change in hemoglobin A1C. And the timeline here was one year. Uh, let's uh, break into the methods a little bit more using the phobia mnemonic. So was it placebo controlled? No, but they compared to another type of insulin. So that's impressive. How is it funded? This was funded by a pharmaceutical company. Was the outcome clinically relevant? Oof, I guess we could debate this, but let's give it to them and say yes. Was it blinded? Yes, for outcome assessment, it wasn't. Of course, they knew if they're getting once daily or once weekly interventions, so um, it was just the outcome assessment. Intention to treat? Yes. And were there a lot of centers? Was it a multi-center study? Absolutely. So let's dig into the results. Uh, there were just over 1,000 eligible patients who were approached, and just under 1,000 were randomized. Uh, loss to follow-up was rare. What did the patients look like? Average age is 59, 57% were men. Uh, most had diabetes for a very long time, so 12 years. Uh, average A1C of 8.5%, and average GFR, which is their kidney function of 86 so what did they find? So you can see here, so on the y-axis is hemoglobin A1C, and on the x-axis is time. So at that 52-week mark, they found a lower A1C among individuals who got the glargine, uh, um, pardon me, the Icodec once weekly compared to the once daily glargine. You know, a small absolute difference of 0.2%. I'll just circle it here so it's clear. But again, this met the non-inferiority and superiority margin for the study. Some secondary outcomes. So um, individuals who received the once weekly insulin, they did spend more time in target, which is certainly good. But a drawback, an important drawback, is that an increased risk of low blood sugar uh, among people on the once weekly insulin. Limitations. So, you know, by design, this was not a blinded trial. Um, this can lead to biases that enter after the time of randomization. And I really wonder about how well will the safety results generalize to the real world. A uh, take home point this once weekly insulin resulted in non inferior and, in fact, superior glycemic control as defined by change in hemoglobin A1C. Um, this is not yet on the market. Uh, once it is, this will be practice changing. For adults in my practice who require insulin, I will certainly be putting them on this once weekly insulin rather than once daily, assuming they're at low hypoglycemia risk. Uh, thanks so much, and thank you to Harry Lee for producing this video.